It was here in Sydney's Inner West, in a community they call The Block, that 17-year-old Thomas Hickey fell from his bike yesterday, becoming impaled on a fence. He died later in hospital. His family and members of the Aboriginal community point the finger at police. They did chase him at that time. I've got witness to all that. They come from behind, they hit him. And he, or he must have jumped off. But there was proof that they hit him on the back of the bike. New South Wales police say they were in the area on a regular patrol, but insist there was no chase. He did see the police, uh, and the police saw him, but they, because he wasn't a person of interest to them, they continued on their, on their, on their patrols. And uh, what motivated the young man, unfortunately, we don't know. Inspector Emery says five officers gave the teenager first aid and have been traumatised by his death. Thomas Hickey, or TJ, was the oldest of seven children and Gail Hickey's only son. She says she'll begin her own investigation tomorrow with the support of friends. Every black child is frightened of the police. As soon as they see them, they just chase them for no reason. And this is a classic case of, of the way police are treating Aboriginal people, particularly here at the block. Inspector Emery says police were flagged down by a pedestrian and they're appealing for that man and any other witnesses to come forward. A report into Thomas Hickey's death is being prepared for the coroner.